I came to Thailand because I knew since I was 14 years old that I would come. I just believe that God sent me to Thailand. Like even all those years ago, I remember it was just a distant dream, but I could never let go of it. I couldn't switch it off. I knew God sent me to Thailand. I knew I was called to Thailand. So in my head, in my thinking, I never had a choice. Like there's no other choice. If God calls you to go somewhere, what choice do you have? I never bought a house. I never went to university because I knew that God was calling me to come to Thailand. And I remember even when I was like 14, Somebody saw like, the call of missions on my life that God had put on my life and somebody bought me a big world map. And, and I put it on my bedroom wall and I printed out in big letters the Great Commission. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every nation. And I knew that, I remember waking up every morning, looking, looking at the map, thinking, yeah, looking at Thailand, looking at Asia, this is where I'm called. And I just, it was no question for me that I would ever come here. It was always... I was definitely coming here. There's times when, like I've been here 18 months now, working as a missionary for 18 months, and there's times when it's not always easy. Like, everything is different, and I've had to change a lot. Like, the, the, the food, the culture, the, the language, the way of life, the way of thinking, everything is the way of driving, definitely. It's just completely different. Um, so it takes time getting used to it, and sometimes it is hard, and sometimes I don't, I feel like I stick out like a sore thumb. I don't feel like I blend in and all that kind of stuff. And sometimes it is hard and it'd be easier to go back to England and just, you know, but what keeps me here, what keeps me in Thailand is Reach, Teach, Mobilize. God sent us to go and reach, teach and mobilize. And I think we must go, we have to go because if we don't go out, if we don't go and visit, you know, the kids in the slums, or if we don't go and visit the kids in the inner city, housing estates in Leeds, wherever God sent us. If we don't go, who will go? Nobody will go, it's up to us, we have to go. And that's what keeps me here, it's the vision. And as we're building the church here, and as I see that we're starting to make disciples, that keeps me here. And so, yeah, I struggle with the language, it takes time. The food is unbelievably spicy, they don't know how to drive. Sometimes the culture is confusing, and learning the language takes time. But the thing that I always keep coming back to, the thing that keeps me here is the vision. Reach, teach, mobilize. We're here to build disciples. And, and the second thing is, it doesn't matter how hard, whatever bad day I'm having, God is still worthy. There's times when I've been like, really, God, why, what am I doing here? Like away from family, away from friends, but it comes back to God, you're still worthy. Even in the last three months, we've seen so many changes happen with Victory Church of Siracha. It's been really exciting to be a part of it. We're working really hard, but it's exciting and amazing what we're seeing. So like, for, just to give you some examples, a few months ago I moved into a brand new building. We had brand new pastors working under Pastor Suang and Pastor Leanne. Just so many changes taking place, but it's all moving in the right direction. Because whatever we're doing here in Victory Church Suracha is for, we're thinking about Victory Churches of Thailand. So I'm here supporting church planting efforts here. Um, and we're building something in Suracha that can be a model for the other churches in, in Thailand. So for example, we just came back from our Victory Churches of Thailand Pastors and Leaders Conference. Um, uh, it was, I had an amazing opportunity to, to speak there about the vision of Victory, about the 10 tenets of Victory, um, about why we're here and about what, what our mission really is. And it's such a great opportunity, not only just to like, build, build those relationships with these pastors, um, but actually you know, just to remind them of why we're here and what we're doing to work together. A lot of the stuff that I'm involved with, like day to day, is uh, heading up the youth. Um, we're really um, just about to launch the Connect Group system for the youth. We're really going to build that. Um, so it's really good. We've already seen people get discipled. We've already seen young people get connected with God, uh, which is just an awesome privilege and just an honor to watch that happen. Also, what I do is lead up the weekly uh, slum visits. Every, every week, take a team and we, we go and visit the, the lo a local slum. Now this is a slum that I've been working with for about a year now. I've been working really hard at building relationships with the, with the kids, with the, with the parents and, and, and the families there. And so now we have at least two families that come solidly every single week. Every week I, I drive to the slum, pick up a big group of kids and they come and they learn English with us for free. Um, so it's really good, that's going to be keeping on going and we're really believing God for really hoping to see whole families come to know Christ and really get connected with the church. Um, we were just there just, just last week and I, it was so exciting for me to see the young people um, get involved in serving and the young people get mobilised into ministering themselves. 
And I, got, I just had an opportunity to speak to the people there about how Faith Tree Church is a family and how God never wants us to be lonely or to struggle alone. But actually, we are a big family and we can support one another and help one another. And even though we're all different, Christ brings us together. And so I invited them to be a part of that family. Um, it was really good. It was the first time I preached in Thai. With no notes whatsoever, so that was really exciting. Um, and it's really good. My Thai is coming along very slowly, but it takes time. But it's really good because now I can build, I can speak with the people, build relationships with those people. And so, yeah, it's really, really exciting. I'm so excited to see what God will do in the slum ministry, especially. And especially with the youth being mobilized um, to be serving and ministering in the slum also. Where we're at right now is just at the beginning stages of what God's going to do. And we're going to see it happen in Victory Churches of Thailand. And I'm really excited. And I, I don't want to ask uh, for support because of this need or that need, but I want to give an opportunity to people who can see the vision, people who understand what the, our mission is and can see where we're going and who want to be a part of that. I want to give that opportunity. So they can, whether they want to uh, give uh, monthly support or whether they want to come as part of a team, come and visit and, and see the work that we're doing, or however way that they want to, that they can feel free to come and contact me. Uh, they can send me an email, uh, simoncoinasia at gmail.com. They can just contact me and I can give them details of how they can actually get involved with the work and we can work together in this mission to build Victory Churches of Thailand. Praise God for what God's done in us so far. I just thank God, I'm so grateful for the Victory family and how he's using us to reach the nations for him. And, uh, but when I look at and see what God has done, I know it's nothing compared to what God is about to do, to what's next for 2016 for this year. It's gonna be bigger and better than ever. So just thank you for partnering with me. Thank you for uh, your financial support. Thank you for your encouragement. And just thank you for, for all the support that, that you give to me. Let's make this year the best ever.